Yeah, okay, Sam, so, honey, what would you have me do about this? And you knowingly returned. Oh, well, then why didn't you go to the police? Why should I? You know what, I think that you should forget about all of this and my husband. Well, because pursuing this is only going to bring more pain to you. So, yeah, you have a nice evening, too. Who's that? A, a young woman claiming you've engaged in some pretty unbelievable things. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Okay, Bill? Bill! What? What? Yes, what? Aren't you going to say anything? About what? About this phone call. It's being handled. What's being handled? Just drop it, Camille. I'm tired. So I don't, I don't get any explanation at all? Nothing? I, I want you to talk to me. Honey, you're worrying too much. Everything is going to be okay. Okay? Bill, this, this girl, she sounded young enough to be our daughter. But old enough to make adult decisions. What does that mean? <laughs> Nothing. Let's drop it. Are you saying that she decided to be with you? Please say something. Anything. Because right now all you're doing is confusing me. Camille, I'm your husband. And as your husband, I will do everything in my power to protect you and the kids. Do you understand that? I understand. And I, I understand too that you know things can happen on the road. But if you're doing anything to jeopardize our livelihood. Have I ever done that? Yeah, I know, but we're talking about now, Bill. Now? Yeah, now. Let's talk about now. Who pays for the mortgage? Who puts food in the refrigerator? Who pays for your car? Who sends you and the kids on vacation oh, okay. and college tuition? Oh, yeah. Who's taking care of that? You are. I'm, no way. I'm, I'm done with this. I'm supposed to. I am done. Okay, I'm supposed to accept all of this in exchange for your infidelity? No. You're supposed to trust me. How can I trust you if you're not honest with me? That's not fair, Camille. I may not have always told you everything, but I have never lied to you. Oh my God, what's the difference? What's the difference? So what do we do now? I don't know. You know, Camille, you're the only woman I've ever loved. Ever since our days in Maryland when I made you laugh so hard that Bill came out of your nose. I knew the first time I saw you smile that I wanted to make you my wife. Remember how I used to walk you back to your dorm after classes? You mean how you used to follow me? Well, I had to make sure that the future mother of my children got home safely. And I vowed that I was going to make you my wife and work like hell to give you the world. Then you did. I'll give you that. You've given me everything I've ever wanted. I got the ring. 
the bill. Well, who's going to take care of us when you're in jail? What happens if this gets out? It's not going to come to that. How do you know that? I just do. These allegations won't hold up. Well, I'm glad you're sure. But I hope you understand that I'm not going to hesitate to protect our family either. come from a cold world out there. And I don't want to come home to a cold house as well. Camille, I need you. I want to be on your side. Well, then be on my side. Fine. I'm on your side. But can I ask you a question? Ask away. Would you want your daughter to marry a man like you? This? Yes, Bill, you do need this. You need to face reality. What, whatever happened out there is finding its way into my home. I cannot have that. I am, and I will always be your biggest supporter. And part of that support means making sure that you're looking at this thing from all sides. Well, part of that support is having faith in me. Oh, please. You talk about it being a cold world like the decisions you make don't affect the climate in here. Now you have this family's fate in the palm of your hands. I need your decisions and your choices to reflect that. Is that understood? Like I told you, Camille, you're worrying too much. The situation is under control. And that's that. 